In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how you can pimp up your WooCommerce products and make them look so much better with Elementor Pro. The site I'm gonna be working on in this video is Swim Signs, which is one of my Amazon affiliate e-commerce websites. And I mean, the products that come with the theme look pretty good. I mean, here's an example. They look, you know, quite neat and tidy. It's not bad. But using Elementor Pro, we can make them look like this. Or in fact, however you'd like, because it's really easy to customize pretty much everything to do with the products, you know, where the images sit, whether you want related products, all the fonts and all the layout and pretty much anything you like. And to help you along, there's a whole load of templates that come with Elementor that you can use to get you started. So as I said, we are gonna be using Elementor Pro. It's a pro feature, the ability to be able to edit WooCommerce pages. And Elementor Pro also has a whole load of other great features and a whole load of extra templates that you can use on pages and posts and loads of other areas on the site. So definitely worth the investment. I'm gonna put a link up in a card now. You'll also find a link in the description. It is an affiliate link, so I really appreciate it if you use it. So anyway, let's get on the computer and I'll show you how it all works. Okay, so I'm over at Swim Signs, which is one of my Amazon affiliate websites. If you'd like to create a website just like this, I'll put a link up now to the full length tutorial that will take you through everything you need to know. So we're gonna be changing the design of the product layout today. So these are all WooCommerce um, products. I'm actually using WooZone to import these products from Amazon. But you know, if you're using just you know standard WooCommerce, it's exactly the same process. So this is the kind of default look and you yeah, know it's okay, but I think we can make it look much, much nicer. So to do this, we're gonna be using Elementor Pro. So you are gonna need Elementor installed and then you're gonna to need to upgrade to Elementor Pro. Lots of themes um, support Elementor. In fact, most of them do. I'm using Astra theme uh, for this particular site. Again, you'll find links to everything I talk about in the description of this video. I've already got Elementor Pro installed on this site. It's really easy to install, you just add it as a plugin. Do that in plugins and add new once you've downloaded it. Then what you wanna do is go into templates. What we're gonna do is create a new template. So I'm gonna come up here and click add new. Type of template is a single product. Let's call it the pimped up product. Click create template. One of the great features of Elementor Pro is you get loads of templates for blocks and pages and all sorts of things. So these are the block templates for the products. There's four at the moment, but they, they add new ones all the time. And they're a great starting point when it comes to you know customizing your products. So the one I'm gonna go for today is this one down here, it's my favorite. So I'm just gonna click insert. So there it is, looking good. I will of course take you through all of the options in a few moments. But the first thing we need to set is when the template's gonna show. So if we come down here, click on the little arrow, I've got this display conditions section. So in here we can basically set some conditions that determine where the template is gonna be used. In this particular example, I just want it to show on all the products. So I click add condition, make sure that's set to include and then just choose products. But you could choose, you know, in category and you can choose a category there or maybe by tag or whatever, you know, it's very flexible, but I just want it to be included on all products. Let's click save and close. So that's that done. I think it just saved it for me, but if yours didn't save, make sure you click update. I'm just gonna go to this other tab and just go to the front of the site. Oh, if I can type, we'll be fine. Just so we can have a look at it on a product while we're working on it, I always like to do that. So, um, any, any old product will do, I think, for example. So there we are, oh, look, it's working already. And the first thing I wanna sort out is this picture. It's a bit stretched and it's also not showing the other images. Most of my products have got more than one image and this is just showing the one. So let's change that first. So I'm gonna go back to the editing window that I've got open where I'm just editing the template. 
And let's have a look at this column. So I'm just gonna right click, go edit column. Let's check the style tab. Okay, so at the moment it's just using like the product image as the background image. So I don't actually wanna do that. I'm gonna just remove that. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into here where we select our widgets. There's loads of great product uh, widgets here and WooCommerce widgets here. You can just drag them over, use the ones that you want. This is the one I want, the product images. So I'm just gonna drag that over. There it is. Now it's all the way down there. I think that's because this column, let's go back into the column, has got a load of uh, padding. Oh, it has. Let's reduce that down to like 20. Okay, let's click update. See what that looks like. Refresh. There we go. Looks all right, doesn't it? There's the other images down there that we can click those and nice little slidey thing. Got the zoom there. Don't really need the zoom, I guess, but it's fine. So that's a bit better. Wondering if there's maybe too much padding at the bottom. Let's just, um, I don't even know if we need it. Let's just take the padding out and just see what that looks like. Refresh. Um, okay, that does look better, but I'm wondering if maybe we need to lose this gray, this gray color we got there. It doesn't, you know, it's conflicting a little bit with the white. So let's go back in and go back to style and we're gonna go to background and then choose color and click white, click update. Again, you know, we're just editing the column. And then let's refresh again, have a look. There we go, I think that looks better, doesn't it? It looks a bit tidier. So that's the picture sorted out. Let's have a look over here. I mean, I don't mind the font, but you might want it to kind of match your website's fonts, which this is not my website's font. This is my website font up here. So let me just show you how you can adjust this text. So the first thing here is the product rating. And in fact, I don't actually want that because my products don't have any ratings because uh, I haven't, added any ratings. You know, if you're adding stars, whatever, that's fine, but I'm not, so I'm just gonna remove that, like that. Then here is the product title. I'm gonna go into style. By the way, I'm just clicking on it, or you can, of course, right-click to edit stuff. Then if we take a look at typography, click the little pencil, and we can see that it's set here, the family is Playfair Display. So I just want it to match my website, so I'm just gonna go right to the top and go default. There we go. Let's click update and have a quick look. Refresh. There we go, that looks better. Okay, let's carry on with the editing, go back in. Just wondering if there's maybe a little bit too much space at the top. What do you think? Let's have a look, let's edit the column. Let's go into advanced. Yeah, there's like 80 padding at the top. Let me just uh, click the chain to unlink them and then just reduce this down to maybe 40. Let's have a look, update and then refresh. Yeah, I think that looks a bit better. Okay, let's adjust this font as well. So that's this element here, which is the short description, we call my short description. I'm gonna go to uh, typography here and then just again, go right to the top, choose default, click update. And we could do the same on the price as well. Typography and default. Click update. Let's refresh and have a look. That's better, all the, all the fonts are now matching nicely. Okay, so the final thing we can play around with is this button, let's have a look at that. So again, I'm gonna adjust the font, let's go into typography, choose default. update, Let's have a look at that. Looking good. So that's looking better, I like the font. Apart from this bit looks slightly bigger than this bit. Uh, the quantity looks smaller than the, the actual button. I think that's down to it having a border. So let's remove that border, let's go back in. And here I can see border type is solid, let's just put that to none. Click update. And refresh. There we go, that looks better, doesn't it? 
So I'm really pleased with that. Let's scroll down. I've got the description and additional information here. I'm thinking this is a bit too stretched. I think it might be nice to have some related products down here. What do you reckon? So let's do that now. So here we've got, what is this product data tabs? Okay, yeah, that's fine. Here we've got upsells. Now I don't currently have any upsells on the site, so I could switch this to be uh, related products. Um, I mean, I might as well remove it because I say I'm not using upsells. Of course, if you're using upsells on WooCommerce, you might wanna keep it, but um, just take that out. So what I wanna do is add another column just down here so that we can add our related products there. So I'm just gonna duplicate this column. Right click, click duplicate, and there we go. Now, they are a bit close together, those columns. I want them to match the ones up here. So let me just have a quick look at the settings on this column, go edit column, see what's going on. Ah, padding, here we go, look, padding and margin, 15 and 50. So let's match that, and also 50 left as well on the padding. So 50, 50 on the padding and 15 on the margin. Let's edit that, hopefully I can remember that stuff. So it's in advanced. The top margin's fine, let's leave that, so it's 15. Then it was, we need any at the top? Yeah, probably should leave that. Let's just click the chain, let's put this to 50 on the right. Oh, hang on, if I can type, we'll be fine. There we go. There we go, and then I guess this one, let's check this one's things. That one's got 80 and 80, and 15 on the margin. So back in here, edit, advanced. 15. Okay, it's already got the other value set. There we go, that looks better. Let's click update. Final thing is I just wanna remove this uh, tab. Would you, we don't want that. Then let's add related products to here. Put them over. Uh, tell you what, let's have a look. Let's see where we're at. Let's click update and then just come over here, refresh. Oh, look, there they are. Little bit squashed up, little bit squashed up. I don't think we need it looking that squashed, but you know, we're getting there. And this has got a nice title. I'm wondering if we need to add a nice little title over here as well. So let's do that. So I'm gonna click on the pencil here. I'm gonna knock this down to two columns. I think two products as well probably be enough. Order by date and whatever, that's fine. Let's click update. Let's refresh. There we go, perfect. I'm really liking the product now. So just to finish off, I'm just gonna add a little title over here. Now I think that's a H3. I'm just gonna inspect it just to find out. Oh no, a H2. That's why you need to inspect things. So let's add a H2. So I'm gonna scroll right down on the widgets, go to heading, pop that in here. Set as a H2 already. Just put product, oh, product information. That looks bigger though, doesn't it? Doesn't that look bigger? It is slightly bigger. Let me just inspect this one again. I mean, this one is kind of comes with this widget, so you can't really do a lot with it, but let me just have a look at it. The font size is 1.5 rem. So to adjust that, you can go in here, there is some sizes set, but if you wanna be more specific, come into style, go into typography, and we've got the size here, it was a rem, let's type in 1.5. Click update, and let's <clears throat> close our inspector, we don't need that. There we go, they look nice. I'm actually feeling like I need a little bit of margin as well, just to push that down, it just, this looks a bit too high. Do you think? So back to our heading. Let's go into advanced, add a little bit of bottom margin, I don't know, 20. Oh, I need to untick the chain because it's just done all of the margins. Just wanna do the bottom one. 20. Update. There we go. So, I'm really happy with that. 
and click around and it should be applied to obviously all of the products, which it is. There we go, that kind of brings us to the end of this. Uh, good luck with uh, playing around with your products. Hope you, uh, you have some fun and come up with something really cool. And uh, yeah, that's it. Anyway, that brings the end of this video. Hopefully you got your WooCommerce products looking really nice with Elementor Pro. Uh, do leave me a comment, let me know how you got on. I read all of the comments I get, do leave them below. And I'll try to reply to as many as I possibly can. If you're not already subscribed, you can do so by clicking on my face. And if you'd like to check out my vlog channel, you can click on my other face and go check that out. And here is a couple of other videos chosen specially for you. I hope you enjoy them. Until next time, bye for now.